this section of the Campus Network Design series, we're going to be talking about routing basics. We'll be going through the different routing concepts such as what are routers, what is routing, what is forwarding, some different definitions regarding routing, and also some routing protocols. What is a router? A router is a layer 3 device that is used for interconnecting networks at layer 3. A router generally has at least two interfaces. When you're using VLANs, a router can have only one interface, known as router on a stick. A router will look at the destination address of the IP packet and decide how to forward it. What is a routing table? Each router or host has a routing table indicating the path or the next stop of a given destination host or network. The router or host will try to match the destination address of the packet against the entries in the routing table. If there's a match, it will forward it to the corresponding gateway router or directly to the destination host. A default route is taken if no other entry matches the destination address. As you can see on the screen, this is an example of a routing table. It will consist of a destination address, the next hop, and also the interface to be used for forwarding the packet to the destination address. As you can see on the screen, this routing table has seven different entries. You have the 10.40.000 slash 16 network, and you can see that the last line is pointing to the default route. What is IP routing? IP routing is basically finding the path for the IP packet. A routing table entry is created by the administrator or received from a routing protocol. If it's created by the administrator, it's known as a static route. If it's received from the routing protocol, it's known as a dynamic route. More than one routing protocol may run on a router. Each routing protocol builds its own routing table known as the local routing information base, or RIB. Several alternative paths may exist, but the best path is selected for the router's global routing table. Decisions are updated periodically or as topology changes. Decisions are based on the topology, policies and metrics such as hop count, filtering, delay, bandwidth, etc. What is an IP route lookup? IP route lookup lookups are based on destination IP addresses. Longest match routing is typically used. This means that more specific prefix is preferred over the less specific prefix. For example, a packet with destination IP address of 172.16.1.1/32 is sent to the router announcing 172.16.1.0/24 rather than the router announcing 172 dot sixteen dot zero dot zero slash sixteen. Remember, like we said, the most specific prefix is preferred over the less specific one. As you can see on the screen, an IP packet arrives at router R1 with a destination IP address of 172.16.1.1. This packet is forwarded to router R2 and router R2's routing table is displayed on the screen. The routing table has four prefixes. The first prefix is 172.16.0.0 slash 16 with an next hop of router R3. You also have prefix 172.16.1.0 slash 24 with an next hop of router R4. There's also 172.18.0.0 slash 16 with an next hop of router R5. And you have 172.19.0.0 slash 16 with the next hop of router R6. As you can see, the first prefix 172.16.0.0 slash 16, which is pointing to router R3, is a match because you have the IP address 172.16.1.1 within its range. The second prefix 172.16.1.0 slash 24, which is has an XOP of router R4 is also a match since 172.16.1.1 also exists within its range. The next prefix 172.18.0.0 slash 16 pointing to an XOP of router R5 and the fourth one of 172.19.0.0 slash 16 with an XOP of router R6 do not match. So 
Remember, the rule is the longest match wins. So the prefix 172.16.1.0 slash 24 is the one that is selected.